As a web developer, Svelte and React are two powerful tools you cannot ignore. They each bring a lot of great stuff to web development, with cool features and perks for developers. My name is Daniel, and today we will dive into the topic of Svelte vs React. We will break down their advantages and disadvantages. We will talk about their similarities and differences. By the end you will have a solid idea of which framework might be the perfect match for your project. And folks, just in case you want to learn more about these technologies, I will leave some useful links in the description. But now, let's get into it! Svelte vs React – what makes them good? Alright guys, but before we dive deep into this comparison, I think there is something important to talk about. You see guys, none of these tools are bad. They both have great advantages and are extremely popular among developers. So, let's see what React and Svelte were made for, and what makes them great. React React is this widely loved JavaScript library created back in 2013. It's your go-to tools for building neat interactive user interfaces on web applications. And React is famous for its main features – JSX. JSX allows you to mix HTML right into your JavaScript file. And here is a quirk – it uses class name instead of class for styling. Virtual DOM – it's like a lightweight clone of the real DOM. When stuff changes, Virtual DOM updates only what needs a makeover, not the entire code. Modularity – React loads things bite-sized. You can create these small, reusable code nuggets called components. They are easy to update and maintain. And thanks to all these guys, React has strong advantages that most developers know and love. Components – You can break down your code into tiny reusable pieces with React's component-based magic. Extensive library support – This means you can expand your app's powers by plugging in various libraries. Need authentication? React's got your back. Declarative style – With React, interactive interfaces become a piece of cake. React's declarative views keep your code readable and debug-friendly. React is an all-purpose tool. From social media hubs to education wonders. React is your go-to for crafting diverse web applications. Alright, now that you know what React is good at, let's move to Svelte. Svelte. It is a cool front-end JavaScript framework for crafting web app interfaces. Created by Rich Harris back in 2016. It's a brainchild of his work on Reactive.js, a UI library for super dynamic web apps. Just like React, Svelte has a number of core features that make it so useful. Svelte is reactive. What it means is, Svelte updates the DOM during build time. That's why there is no need for external state management libraries. It's plain and simple. If you know your way around HTML, CSS and good old JavaScript, Svelte is easy to learn. Svelte is lightweight. Folks, basically, you can perform the same tasks with less code. And that's why why developers love this framework. But what are the key advantages that Svelte has? It's fast and compact. Svelte-based apps are small and load up fast. It's easy to learn. Thanks to its simple syntax, Svelte is a good choice to pick up. No virtual DOM. Yes, that's right, sometimes it can be an advantage. No virtual DOM means speedy rendering. Great performance. The online compiler works its magic at build time, crafting Swift and lean apps. Alright, that all sounds awesome. But what are the downsides these two tools have? Svelte vs React – Disadvantages Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. So, as you can see, my friends, both React and Svelte sounds like great tools to use. However, this doesn't mean they are miracles. Each of them has its own disadvantages, so let's talk about them. React First of all, React isn't always easy to learn. JSX, the unique syntax React uses, can be tricky for newcomers. The next drawback is that React is not a full framework. This means it lacks essential features and tools. This reliance on external libraries can pose security issues. Documentation issues Finally, React's documentation can be challenging due to frequent updates, making it tough for beginners to kickstart their React journey. Svelte Ok, folks, and now let's look at what kind of cons Svelte has. 
First of all, its smaller ecosystem. As a younger framework, Swell has a smaller ecosystem compared to React. This means there are not so many available libraries and tools. Another problem is its unique syntax. Svelte uses familiar web technologies, but also utilizes unique elements that differ from other frameworks. That's why shifting from JSX might be difficult. Svelte vs React – Similarities Here is the thing, guys. Both Svelte and React are JavaScript tools. That's why it's hardly surprising that they have something in common. And before we talk about what makes them unique, let's talk about similarities. JavaScript both frameworks are built on JavaScript. Svelte incorporates TypeScript, component-based architecture. Both React and Svelte follow a component-based architecture. In Svelte, components typically have a .svelte extension, while React components use .jsx. Reactivity Reactivity enables automatic UI updates in response to changes in underlying data. React achieves this through state and props, while Svelte uses reactive variables. JSX-like syntax Swell syntax is similar to JSX syntax used in React, allowing HTML-style code within JavaScript. Robust tooling React and Swell provides a rich set of tools. React has Next.js for features like server-side rendering and code splitting. Swell Kit offers similar functionalities for Swell, including automatic code splitting and server-side rendering. Open source communities both React and Svelte are open-source projects with active communities. And active developer community is very important, especially for newbies. Svelte vs React – Differences Ok, guys, let's wrap up this comparison by breaking down what sets these JavaScript tools apart. I will try to list the differences between React and Svelte based on the main parameters like size, performance, testing and others. Size Svelte comes in at 1.6 KB in its gzip version. React bundled with React DOM has larger size of 42.2 KB. This compact size gives Svelte an advantage in loading speed, responsiveness and cost effectiveness. And it means quicker page rendering. Performance React operates with a virtual DOM, a kind of a short-term memory for UI changes. And these make it faster compared to the traditional document object model used in vanilla JavaScript. Swell takes a different approach. It skips the virtual DOM, and during build time, Swell interprets its code and the DOM updates whenever an action prompts a change. That's why without the virtual DOM, Swell is faster than React. Testing When it comes to testing, Swell uses something called testing library slash Swell. It's all about testing your app the way users would interact with it. React, on the other hand, has its own testing tool called React Testing Library. It looks at things from a user's perspective. And if you want even more control, React has another tool called Enzyme. So, as you can see, both Svelte and React have special tools for testing. And you can even bring in external ones like Mocha if you want. Ease of use Svelte keeps it simple with regular HTML, JavaScript and CSS. If you know the basics of those, you will breeze through Svelte. But React is more difficult to learn. That's why in the battle of simplicity, Svelte takes the win. Winning's winning. It's much easier for those familiar with vanilla CSS, HTML and JavaScript. Svelte vs React – what should you choose? Alright, guys, the thing is, there is no winner here, and there is no loser either. I think both of these JavaScript tools are great. They both are incredibly useful for working with applications. And as you already know, both Svelte and React have their strengths and weaknesses. That's why better to use React if you want to build complex user interfaces, you plan to work on a large-scale projects, you are looking for a framework, or rather library, that supports great numbers of libraries and tools. Plus, it has a huge community. On the other hand, you should pick Svelte in case you work on a small-scale project, you need a high performance and simple code above all, and you want to build dynamic user interfaces. So, as you can see, guys, it all really depends on your development team needs and goals, and sometimes personal preferences. Career opportunities my friends, I wondering if learning React or Svelte is worth it today? Go ahead, make your jokes, mister. If you are, you can stop wondering now. Jokey. Joke maker. 
Bulls, React and Swell developers are still in a pretty high demand. According to Glassdoor data, React developers in the United States can earn up to 136k a year. At the same time, senior Swell developers can earn as much as 122k on a yearly basis. Freelance React developers earn between 20 and 38 dollars per hour, but experienced Swell freelancers can earn up to 60 to 75 dollars per hour. So, as you can see, the difference is insignificant when it comes to in-house jobs, and really impressive when it comes to freelance positions. Alright, my fellow developers, that's all about Swell versus React comparison. Feel free to check the links in the description to dive deeper into React and Svelte and get more experience with these technologies. As usual, if you like this video, smash the like button and for more awesome content, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time.